Hello, everyone, and welcome to Monday. Today is a very exciting day for food in the George household because we made chili. Um, we got that started this morning, and it's done, and we're ready to eat it, and I'm excited about that. And I think it's worth getting excited about chili. Uh, you might be saying it's summertime. You're not supposed to make chili in the summertime. Hush. You can eat chili anytime you want. Also, if you turn the AC on high enough and you're cold enough in the house, chili tastes great. That's actually not what I'm super excited about today, even though I am excited about it. I'm excited about the fact that Mao, using her new Dutch oven that she got as a uh, anniversary gift, made a loaf of bread. So this is a Dutch oven loaf. And look at this thing. This thing is crazy. It's huge. I don't have anything for scale. Because my hand is large already, so it doesn't make it like... You want what? A butter knife? Oh wait, I got a ruler right here. There we go. There, a ruler for scale. Yeah, it's um, it's a big boy, and uh, I am really looking forward to enjoying some of that with the uh, with the chili tonight. Mal, would you like to do the honors of uh, cutting it up? Yeah. Listen. Hear that? Nice and crispy. So how difficult was it to do? Oh, this was super easy. Yeah. Like I took that big bowl yesterday and mixed up all the ingredients and like I didn't even really have to get my hands full of flour and stuff and then you let it ferment in the yeast to grow overnight and then today I just like rolled it into a ball and put it in the Dutch oven and put it in the oven. Well it's beautiful. How does the process compare to using like the bread maker? Obviously the results are slightly different. Yeah. I mean the bread maker you just dump everything in and hit go. Yeah. But it doesn't get crispy like this. Okay. Oh, that was... Oh, that's a good-looking piece of bread. Do, do you mind if I just, um... Have a bite? Just, Here, just let me just cut a piece. You're going to... Okay. Mmm. That is crispy. So how do you feel about your first, uh, loaf of bread in the Dutch oven? It's chewy. A little bit. It's good, though. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be really, really good as an accompaniment to the chili, which is what matters the most. I just really want sourdough. Yeah. And it's not sourdough enough. <laughs> oh. That's a great looking bowl of chili. Let's try some. Mm. It's probably a million degrees. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's too hot. Mm-hmm. You need some water? No. No, I'm fine. I just... I blew on it. For less time than I needed to blow on it. Let me try that again. Mm. Much better second time. It'll need a um, just a little bit of salt, I think, but otherwise it's really good. It's just funny because we have never had a bowl that big. Like, look at this thing. This thing is huge. The original look recipe at is for like a four quart Dutch oven, and I have a seven quart. <laughs> So I, they have the ingredient amounts for people who have larger Dutch ovens. And I was like, oh, well, I'll just do the one for mine. And that's how big it turned out. I love it. I love how big this bread is. It's like, I'm going I'm to do a little Duncan here. <laughs> it's so big. Mm. The bread, honestly is always like some of my favorite parts of the chili because it's kind of fun. I know it sounds ridiculous and childlike in nature, but it's true. It's like, oh, I get to dip the bread into the, the, the chili. And that's actually one of the reasons I really like it. Anyway, if you're interested uh, in the, I guess either recipe, you will have you have recipes for both of them, right? They're yeah. things online. So yeah. I'll put the link to them in the description. Um, as Mao said before, the bread was for a four-quart Dutch oven. Mao was a seven-quart Dutch oven. But hey, if you're looking for some really big bread, which I think is fun, then have at it. We're going to have to, you know, cut it up in order to get it to go into like a Ziploc bag or something, though, yeah. or a Tupperware because it won't fit otherwise. <laughs> it's fine. Anyway, I'm going to end it there. Great meal great way to end the day. Thank you all so much for watching. 
And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?